possession of this game. Jekyll Hooker breaks it, breaks the huddle now, stops up under center. Fumble on the play. The ball is down on the ground again. That is that has just been killer all season. It really has, Jalen. That's just miscommunication right there. It was good awareness by Hooker though to jump on that ball, but that should not be happening, Jalen. A, a bit lucky break there for the Red Hawks as they will keep possession of the ball. It's going to be third and seven from about the 31, 30 yard line here. Hooker's under center. Oh, gets a man to jump. That is that is big to make this third down, third down conversion a little more attainable for the Red Hawks. They got a man to jump. That's going to be number. Th that's going to be number two, Frankie Argulas there on the jump. Yeah, that was, a, that was a big break for Sears Springs. Third and one is a lot easier than what it was before, Jalen. And we got to remember, a touchdown here ties it. It's going to be third and one from the 25-yard line. Hooker's under center now. The handoff to Umphrey, who rumbles up, up the middle for the first down. He's going to be tackled at the 20-yard line. What a run by Cameron Humphrey, and what a, a third down conversion to keep this drive alive. Yeah, you're not asking for too much on 31. Just one yard, and you convert. That's all he did, Jalen, and that's all we needed. Now it's a new set of downs. The Red Hawks are looking to capitalize off of that big stop by the, by the Red Hawks defense here. Hooker's under center. Uh, a handoff outside, but Hooker tries to make a man miss. Gets up field for a, for a solid gain of six on the play. Yes. What a run by Hooker. That really was, Jalen. That was a nice run by Jacob Hooker. Really filling the shoes of Colin Almasuffer fairly nicely this game, Jalen. He's been a big plus on that offense. Looks like it's going to be another three backs in for the Red Hawks, and we were talking about that depth at running back earlier in this game. You're seeing it here. We have three completely new backs in right now. Yeah, we do, Jalen. And they're running such a fast-paced offense. You can see the hands of the hips to Wyoming. It's going to be John Todd up the middle for the first down. Another first down conversion. The Wyoming Wolves have looked lost on defense here so far in this game, John. But they really have. We talked about how key it was for them to shut down Silver Spring run, and they have not done that. It, it's easier said than done, Jalen, because Silver Springs has a really strong running game. I'd say three-headed monster, but there's more than three. It's going to be first and goal from the five round. It's going to be a touchdown. Touchdown, Cedar Springs, if they will tie this game in the second quarter. Woo! We got ourselves a tie ball game, Jalen. See, this is why you don't give up. This is why you keep fighting, because anything can happen. That was Troy Patton on the touchdown run, and this, this Red Hawks crowd is really fired up right now as they have come back from a 14-point deficit early in this game, John. Oh, yeah, they really have. You can see the full moon. It's just such a great atmosphere right now for a football game, Jalen. see the student section getting into it. Cedar Springs is playing with so much heart, so much enthusiasm, so much intensity, and so much passion right now. It's great to watch. Hand off to Cameron Humphrey. Picks up the two-point conversion. They're going to take the lead. Way to capitalize off of that huge defensive stop there from the Cedar Springs Redhawks. It's going to be 22 to 20 with six minutes and 38 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. Yeah, Jalen, I said it to you at the end of the first quarter. Wyoming won that first quarter, but if you come out and you win those next three quarters, you're going to be the victor of this game. Cedar Springs has shut down Wyoming here in the second quarter. And this crowd is really fired up now as they believe. They believe that we will win. You can hear the chants coming down from the student section now. They are fired up. Oh, you know I can, Jalen. You can see them jumping up and down, just feeling the booth shake all the way up here. They're really putting their heart and soul into this. It's going to be Dustin Shaw back to kick this one off as, as the Wyoming Wolves team is going to try to answer, but the momentum is completely turned over to Cedar Springs in this game now, John. Yeah, there's no hustle right now for the Wyoming Wolves. They're trying to just walking out in the field, slowly jogging. They look really discouraged right now as Cedar Springs has put up a lot of unanswered points. Could we also see a lack of conditioning from this Wyoming team as this fast-paced offense has really really gotten a lot of these moves that play both sides of the ball tired here as Dustin Shaw booms it downfield. It's going to be Michael Williams on the return. He's a speedster. Big tackle by Cameron Humphrey there on the play. The ball is, the ball is on the ground, folks. The Red Hawks think they have it, but let's see. They're going to say the Wolves had it, but I don't know about that one. Yeah, you can see Coach Capolka getting really fired up about that. 